125 buckaroos. 20 bucks. We got a big duck to nail gun. $350. That's a thousand dollars in printers, ladies and gentlemen. We're opening up a print shop. If you need one, email me. All right, guys, so the, uh, the initial intro we had planned, well, it sucked. It didn't turn out at all. So instead, I'm, I'm going to entertain you guys by riding this unicycle and juggling these wrenches. Thanks, Jay. Also, you didn't get 50,000 likes on the last video, so I'm going to give you the opportunity again. 50K likes on this video, and I'm buying 10 cyber trucks. All right, ready? Here we go. Let's just start the video. As you guys can see, this package is absolutely huge. It's way bigger than the other one. Even though we had two last time, they're actually just on trial. But if you guys didn't see that video, check it out. Link is in the description. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Take a look around, see if there's anything you can see, you know, some uh, valuable items in here, perhaps. Everything looks like it's in better condition than the last one, because we did get some cool 3D printers, but they were all like broken. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's pop into this bad boy, because this is probably gonna take a while. Oh my God, where do we start? It's an interesting one, folks. We've got an 11 foot reach gutter cleaning kit. Anyone need a gutter cleaning kit? Maybe I'll gift this to my parents for Christmas. Okay, it's literally nothing besides a bunch of these plastic tubes. There's no way this is worth more than like 20 bucks. It's actually worth 60 bucks. A little bit more than I was expecting. We've got our gutter cleaning set up. And then what you do is you pop in a leaf blower at the bottom and then you like put it up high and then it leaf blows. Okay, that was fun. We know what this is right off the jump. We got ourselves a Casio piano. Huh. Maybe we could make some tunes in the office, you know, avoid some copyright. I'll make my own music. This one, at least, it'll be pretty easy to figure out if it works. Moment of truth, it's plugged in. Press the power. Oh. Somebody. Fun fact, you don't know this about me, but I actually took piano lessons for 25 years. Yes, I'm 28. I'm pretty good. Okay, yeah, I can't play piano at all. Maybe they have um, one of the like, it'll play a track for you. <laughs> Yo, it's something like some video game vibe. Oh, we're vibing now. I should have turned this up earlier. I needed the, the metronome. Here, Jay, you do it. Better than me. Now for the moment of truth. How much is it? 100 bucks. Not bad. I, I feel like this is one of those things we could actually sell too. Like maybe not for 100 bucks, but 50 bucks or so. Not bad. We got another printer just in case we didn't get enough last time. I don't know what it is. I guess printers are one of those things that everyone's like, why did I get this again? We got here a Pixama and this isn't a 3D printer, which would have been way cooler. It looks like it's in good condition. Ooh, oh, it's a scanner too. Let's continue. Now this got me excited for a second when I first saw it. It looks like it's in really good condition. I think I saw something else in here that might be something that would work with this, if you guys know what I mean. And to be honest, we could use another one around the office. This is just cooling fans, so it's not actually like that exciting, but it's it's more what might be coming with it later on. Ooh, yeah, this, I don't think this was even open. I have no idea how this works. This is obviously beyond me, but maybe we can put this into a computer if we need it. Seems pretty good quality. Let's check how much it's worth. $145. Next item. This says, caution, heavy. Well, it's a laser printer. <laughs> I have so many printers. Every type of printer. I'm going to open up a print shop. This whole YouTube thing doesn't work out. This also looks in pretty good condition. I can't tell if it's been opened at all or not. It doesn't look like it. Like, it still has all the styrofoam. This one actually looks pretty good. Oh, this is a big old boy. It's stuck. Oh, get off. Oh, no. That didn't sound good. Genuine supplies, brother. Dude, this looks like it's in pretty good condition. It's called, it's brother is the is the brand. That's wavy. I want this printer more now because it's called brother. One thing that I've noticed in this video compared to the last Amazon palette, I think the printers are in a lot better condition. This seems completely brand new. It doesn't even look like anyone tried it. So we could probably actually get some money for this. A gaff for, it says guitar. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Are you stupid? 
I don't know why we got musical instruments just to showcase how unmusically talented I am. But we got an acoustic guitar. That's actually pretty lit. The strings on it are uh, completely broken. I don't even know, like, how, how does this happen? Let me, uh, let me tune my guitar real quick, folks. You could obviously replace the strings. I don't think that's very expensive. EST 1975? Come on. It's been around for a long time. Probably worth thousands of dollars. Oh my God. Yo, normally we get used stuff. I think this is used and it's, it's like actually way older than it looks. Check out. It's got Carlos Santana's autograph. That makes this worth thousands of dollars. We hit the jackpot. Normally this is only 85, but because of this signature, it's worth way more. We made all the money off the pallet. Just right there. Money made. I really want to break it. I feel like that's like a rock star move. Oh, God. Oh, it feels so good. I'm going to put it on the side for now, okay? Too early. You're not ready for it. Nobody is ready. You got to like ease into breaking things, you know, break some cardboard. Then we break the thousand dollar Carlos Santana signed. It even has Jimi Hendrix signed this one too. So let's get some more big bucks. I'll be honest with you guys, okay? I talk a lot of shit about value and I, I am always truthful. I never lie about those things. But this one, I'm really not lying. This is actually worth some beats. This is a JBL Extreme Harmon. I think Harmon is the same people who make Harmon Kardon speakers, which is top of the line. You have a BMW, that's what's in there. They made this one. So I think this is probably worth like a decent amount of money. JBL Connect, all that fun stuff. Oh, this thing's big. That's what she said. Or he said. This is a big knock to speaker, what the heck? We are connected, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare to have your minds blown. Minds blown in three. Okay. My mind is telling me. Oh, yeah. Do you hear those vibes? Sana? Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Oh, you can good feel morning. Like shake at the I top. hope you're excited for this week. I know you're yeah. going to destroy it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're Gary B today. Put a big smile on your this nice This is your Monday. Monday. This is your week. Yeah. You take that week and mm -hmm. you make it your. Oh, no, I'm about to swear. That's the podcast, by the way. If you guys aren't already subscribed to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and the YouTube channel, be sure to check it out. Link down below in the description. But yo, the speaker's kind of a vibe. <laughs> Standing outside your girl's room like, it's not really the right song, but you get the point. Okay, JBL vibes, how much is it worth? So there's a JBL Extreme 2. I don't know if that's what this is or if this is an older version. 179 US. Fortunately, I'm Canadian, which means even more money for me. Not bad. You could probably honestly sell this on Kijiji or something like that for 150 bucks because it's in good condition and it actually works. Add it to the total, baby. We're making some money. Okay, now we've got another keyboard. Holy, this is a musical theme today. It's $228. That's more than our last one. If it works, we got to figure that out, of course. Oh, this one definitely works. This hasn't even been taken out the box yet. You see those vaps? I believe this one's going to work, so I'm, I'm just going to avoid making your ears bleed any more than they probably already have. Oh, next item. Ugh. Oh, okay. This looks like another piece to the um, the thing I was alluding to earlier with the Corsair stuff. It's a computer, okay? I, I think there's going to be a, a full-fledged computer in here. I don't know why I keep trying to beat around the bush. But we have a monitor, a ViewSonic. I don't know if that's any good, but still a monitor. Let's see how much it's worth. 100 bucks. Not bad. Stack it up, baby. We're making some money today. I'm not going to try right now. We're going to try and get the whole what I think is coming later on. We'll piece it all together, and then we'll try this monitor out then. Or maybe we'll destroy it. I'm, I'm starting to get tired, you know? <laughs> starting to get a little edgy. I feel like I need to let off a little steam. Oh, okay, one thing, you know, I'm, I'm a Woosa, Woosa, Woosa. Woosa, baby. I'm destroying this. You know why? Because it's already destroyed. It sounds like a goddamn Lego set. This is definitely not working. I don't even really want to open it because it's just going to make it go everywhere. But I think this is just a broken version of one of the printers we got earlier. Oh yeah, that is broke. May I interest you in some printer pieces? Ugh. Okay, that might break my face. Oh, yeah, then please. Okay. 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 Who's that? Who's that? Next item. Okay, 
What is this? This actually has me very confused. Is this a speaker? Oh, we got more JBL, baby. Oh, it's a car speaker. A coaxial car audio loudspeaker. So what do you, where do you put this? Like in the back of your car? Or in the front of your car? Where does this go? I actually don't know where this goes. Nope. Why would I modify something that's already perfect, Jay? You've never owned another car before. Right? I have, yes. But I was too broke to modify the car at the time. <laughs> okay. So I can upgrade my Tesla. So you replace whatever like dookie speaker you would already have. Oh, <laughs> these are probably not cheap, no? Maybe that's why they're so hard to open. Oh, this is some mouth. 300 watts max power. So I don't know what 300 watts means, but what I do understand is the value of money. <laughs> you know? You feel like, you know, you know, you know, you know, okay. JBL GX962, 225 buckaroos. Not bad, not bad. So I'm not gonna put this into my car because Tesla, you know, I, don't, I don't need to. But I think it's safe to say these probably work. It looks like it's brand new and really good condition. Nobody's even opened this, checked it, nothing. So I think it's safe to say these bad boys work. Add it to the total, ladies and gentlemen. What do we have here? Probably the lightest box we've had so far. <laughs> it's a Nintendo Switch? Why is it in this box? Is it, is it though? Oh my God, it, it's a fully a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> what? Yo, this is actually Zoop. This is, I was not expecting that at all. It's not in the regular box. Comes with a controller. We've got the screen. We've got it all, ladies and gentlemen. We got, we got a Switch for the office. Some vibes. You know what? <sighs> You guys are unlucky, because if this was the last video, I would have added it to the giveaway, but <laughs> sorry, you know, it's just how it is. You know what? How about this? I'm going to do a giveaway over on my podcast channel at some point in the next couple months, and I may or may not include a Switch in that giveaway. And when I say may or may not, I mean I, I will. I will include a Switch in that giveaway. So if you want to potentially win a Switch, go subscribe to that channel, check out the podcast, otherwise you risk missing out on that giveaway and that's all i needed to say so go do that in the meantime we got to switch for the office ladies and gentlemen i'm high what i need to check though is how much is the nintendo switch going for these days four bills four hundred dollars we got a premium fresh out like a weird fresh out a weird box but still it's still like everything is still in the package it normally sells for 400 bucks i'm sure we could get 250 for it it's brand new you know, add it to the total, baby. We're making money. We're making moolah. We're making bread. We're making cheddar cheese. We're making green. We're making paper. We're making, um, we're making, uh, dineros. We're making, um, doubloons. We're making, uh, cashola. We're making money is, uh, what we're doing, folks. I genuinely believe we have items this time that we could easily sell. The last video, we had some really cool stuff, but it would be hard to sell a 3D printer that's used, like how I don't even know where to go for that. But these things, we could actually sell them. Okay, let's keep going. Remember when I said things we could sell? I don't think this is one of them. What is this? VHF, UHF combo TV antenna. What is that? Uh, like, what, what is this for? Is this, what is this, like a satellite? No, Ooh. I'm not opening it. Everything's rattling around in there anyways. Oh Watch me God. check this out and it's worth like $8 million. VHF, UHF one, bye. It's 20 bucks. We're only here for the big bucks, baby. You seen the switch, the JB, you see the money we're making. We ain't got no time for no $20 chump change, okay? This has to be a joke. I, okay, I saw this and I completely forgot about it. We got two? We got two switches, one for the crib and one for the office. We got, I don't remember the rest of the two phone song, but whatever. This one's in the box. I guess we have our giveaway switch now. That's another four bills, maybe minimum 250, no problem. We're making money. Cash, moolah, dineros. Sorry, cash is calling. We're making cash, moolah, bread, dinero. How did I forget half of them? I literally just said, anyways, point is big dollars. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. And this is literally fresh in the box. So I'll probably keep the other one for the office. And we can use this one for the giveaway or sell it. Because this one, we we might even... I wonder if we could just return this. Like, just bring it into a Best Buy and be like, Hey, I lost the receipt. Take it back, please. <laughs> oh, look. It says... It says... Amazon Warehouse Inspected. I can rip it off. Either way, I'm gonna use it for a giveaway. Bores. Yo, I don't know what our total's at anymore. Because Jay's doing all the math and post right now which is probably a bad idea because his math is 
Okay, no, his mask's good. He's like an architect or something. Okay, so I don't know if you guys saw the last video, but we obviously got the switch in this video. I filmed this a week before the last video you guys saw. I was getting a little messy, but the point is, since we opened the switch from the Amazon palette, we did the Black Friday video, and we got a brand new TV, as you guys can see. And now we can actually play the switch. The switch fully works as like. As you see, it's online right now. So we downloaded Realm Royale and that's what we're playing. So we don't have any actual games yet, but I'll probably buy a few, but Realm Royale was free. So I copped that one and it's all set up. So the office is getting some nice upgrades from these videos, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm pretty amped that this switch works. And this was a switch that wasn't in the actual switch box that hadn't been opened at all. That's the one that I'm gonna be giving away over on the Bamboozle podcast. So fortunately, both switches work, which means you guys also are gonna get a chance to win a switch. You just gotta go subscribe to the new channel this is i'm just gonna keep doing these because maybe we'll get rich off this next item this looks kind of unique to to this i mean you've maybe i've seen this before but this is unlike anything we've opened so far today we've got a tool <laughs> we got a big duck and nail gun oh my god i don't think i should be allowed to have this i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but it's probably irresponsible are there any nails in here Okay, correction. I'm looking at it. I got too excited. It's a staple gun. Still pretty exciting and actually probably better, less deadly. Not my goal, but you know, I can be stupid sometimes. Okay, we don't have any staples for it though. It seems like there should be other stuff that comes with this, but it's just this. It's $350. Are you out of your mind? If the tool works, people will pay for it. That's one thing with tools. It doesn't have to be in perfect condition. So we might actually be able to sell this. Again, this is kind of like the 3D printers. I don't know who we would sell it to or how to find them. Add it to the total, baby. This is like the money tree that just keeps on giving. Another printer. I'm not opening it. We've got another printer and you guessed it, a third printer, all brother printers. I should just quickly check how much are these. Brother. So this one's a hundred bucks. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> just, I'm fishing and all I'm getting is money. Yeah, this is 350 bucks. These are all over $300 each. So we got a $100 printer, a $300 printer, another $300 printer, and another $300 printer. That's $1,000 in printers, ladies and gentlemen. We're opening up a print shop. If you need one, email me. Competitive offers only, all right? No low balling here. This is really clean looking. Check that. Come on, bro. How much is it? Ooh, $300 for this little Bluetooth speaker. That's actually, that's not cheap. This is a pretty, this has got to be one of the more expensive ones on the market. Let's test this out. Make sure the audio quality is good. I think I might have to keep this for myself. This, this is pretty sweet. I like this. I like it a lot. We've got our speaker. I'm going to turn it on. Maybe not. Am I doing something wrong here? No, please. How do I turn it on? No, please. Maybe this is why they returned it. No, it's not turning on. Oh, that's so disappointing. Come on. Am I missing something? Is this not in enough? It's not working right now. If we figure it out, I'll update you guys, but it looks like we're old. Oh, damn it. I mean, it looks cool at least. Oh, it's a PA speaker system. These are actually pretty expensive. And we have two of them. We got a band, that kind of vibe, a guitar, whatever it is. This hasn't been opened at all. Money. <laughs> That's a big boy speaker right there, folks. Behringer. Bro, this looks completely flawless, like brand spanking new. Now we have two of them. So let's see how much each of these are. Ooh, baby. $350 each. Are you crazy? Oh, come on. Ooh, making money, baby. Like, I know where I could sell this. Like there's, there's tons of music shops around this city that you could actually sell this to. They probably won't give me as good of a price. If I could find like a band or something like that that really needs one of these for their shows. But I could always resell it to one of those just like music stores because they're always looking to sell these things. We got two of them. So that's 700. I remembered a new one. Smackaroo, baby. Not exactly high hopes for what's in here, but oh, guess what? It's not one printer. This is it. Oh, oh my God, it is one printer. This is huge. I thought this was two printers. Whoa, this is literally the printer we have in the office. It's a little bit bruck up. Definitely not in as good condition as some of the other items. $330. 330 bucks for this bad boy? Damn, if only we didn't buy our printer. We literally just bought this. <laughs> All right, we're down to our final two items. We already checked this printer right here. Oh, some type of speaker. All we get is speakers and printers. <laughs> it's like, what? Everybody returns those. Team lift? I'm D's. Put it all on my back, baby. I'm guessing this isn't perfect quality, but 
It's not even a speaker, it's just cables. Bare cables. This cable can't be cheap, bro. Look at this thing. Oh, bro, what is this? I feel like a firefighter. Oh, it's just like a switchboard kind of vibe. I'm guessing this would go for like, again, some type of live music event type thing. This looks like a really good quality one and it's very long, so. <laughs> Oh, it's heavy duty. There's no way it was cheap to build this, put it together, anything like that. So, oh, this hurts my shoulder. Let's do some research. Woo. Seismic audio, $530. Oh my God, yo, we're banking today. We can pretty much put on a whole show at this point. We are down to our final item. And this is what I'm the most excited about. Now I'm like just excited about everything. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Ha ha! Fam! As you can see, we got a full desktop computer. It actually has the parts inside. Maybe it doesn't work, but it looks like it's in really good condition. I like the outside. All white vibes. Okay, it's time to test this out. We gotta see if this thing works. We're gonna try it out with our monitor. Maybe we just got a whole nother workstation for the office. I don't know if this is a custom build or I have no idea. It's gotta be worth at least a thousand dollars for a full computer build, you know what I mean? Let's check it out. All right, we got the monitor, we got the computer. We don't have the cords connected to because this takes a different cord. It's not HDMI, which is all we had lying around. I think it will turn on. We're gonna test that right now. You Sonic baby. Okay, the monitor works. The next thing is, will the computer turn on? There's a light. I'm gonna press this right here. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we add, uh, okay, we gotta go. We gotta get a couple cables. It must be working at this point. I'm assuming it is. We're gonna try and put on a couple programs. I don't know, I'm, I guess check some specs. Maybe get an idea as to how much this thing is worth. For now, I'm just amped that it's working. We'll be right back. All right, guys, it has been about a week since we opened up the Amazon palette. I had my buddy come in who actually knows a lot about computers. Told me the computer is actually worth around $2,000 worth of parts. So it's a really solid computer and it fully works. So I've replaced my old system that I had that basically would just allow me to surf the internet. I didn't do too much editing on the system I had before here and we got it down here all set up and basically it's now my new computer like it's fully what I use. Uh, we set up the other one over there. I don't know if you guys can see it but right over here is where the old one is. So now we have three workstations in the office so needless to say that worked out pretty well. All right ladies and gentlemen this was a wildly successful video. Potentially we made actual money off of this Amazon pal. We got a lot of good quality functioning items that are actually cool as well. Now, unfortunately, I need to destroy something, okay? I've been itching all video long. You've seen it, and despite the fact that Jimi Hendrix and Carlos Santana both signed this guitar, don't worry, it's actually only 90 bucks, and it's broken, so it's like 30 bucks. I need you to help me out. As soon as this connects, I need you to do the same thing it's gonna do. Smash the like button, all right? Oh, I've been waiting for this all day. Wow, it's pretty sturdy. <laughs> oh, I needed that. That feels good. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to smash the like button. Check out the giveaway link in the description. Also, be sure to check out my podcast. I'm just promoting way too many things at this point, but I'm just feeling good because we made that bread, that cheddar, those bank of bank dollars. I'm just going to stop. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Toodles!